here at PowerPro, we've been focusing a lot the past couple of years with parasitic drain testing. A lot of cars nowadays, they have a lot of computer work going into them, so we need to make sure that our technicians are equipped with the tools to be able to detect the issues that come with that. Parasitic drains being one of the hardest things to track down. So with our draw monitor, you connect it to the OBD2 port of your vehicle, and it supplies 12.5 volts to the car system through the OBD2 port up to 10 amps. Now, this also works as a memory saver uh, in terms of doing a battery replacement or anything like that. You'll be able to save your customers radio channels, all their presets for the vehicle without having to disconnect the car's battery. So, as of right now, the drum monitor is monitoring the voltage for the car's battery. Okay. And if we want to be able to detect any sort of parasitic drains, we're going to have to disconnect the car's battery to do so. So we're going to hit the smart output button here. It's still supplying voltage to the car's battery. Now let's put a draw on the system. Now it's still not showing a draw because the battery of the vehicle is still connected. But once we disconnect the battery and take it out of the loop, the draw monitor is now supplying power to the vehicle. So we have about a 300 milliamp drain on the vehicle itself. Now we may not necessarily know what's causing the drain, but that is where the technician's knowledge can come into play. There's a couple ways you can go about it. Um, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to start pulling fuses because when you pull fuses, you can either uh, isolate the issue and you'll have to spend time uh, setting everything back up and waking up those components and waiting for them to go back to sleep. Uh, so you normally just go and measure your voltage across your, uh, your fuses, and then from there, do your calculations for your voltage drop, get your current, and then continue diagnosing. Now, with the PowerPro fuse monitor, this does that voltage drop calculation for you. All you have to do is select your fuse type and the current rating, and then you touch the contact points on the fuse, and it'll detect, it'll measure that for you. So right here, we're gonna start at the base. We have a uh, 15 amp ATC fuse. So we have set to 15 amp ATC, and we are going to make contact. And as we're making contact on the end right here, if you want to come over, we see that it, it has an active indicator. So we know that there's current going through this fuse. Okay. And right now it's about 250 milliamps of current. So we know that we're heading in the right direction. So we go further down the line in the fuse box. And let's start with uh, this guy right here. It's a 10 amp ATC. So we'll bump this down. And then we see here that it is inactive. So there isn't a significant amount of current going to it. So we know that this fuse isn't part of, that's causing the drain. So as we go through the rest of the fuse box, we come across the culprit fuse. There we go. So 230 milliamp drain still roughly the same. Yeah. So from this point, we would go into the car schematics, check and see what is connected to that fuse in the circuit, um, and then start diagnosing which components may be causing that issue. And uh, if we find the component, we unplug it from the circuit, we see that the drain disappears on the draw monitor. That's letting us know that, hey, that's the component you're looking for. You're not uh, waking up any other modules by disconnecting it. And uh, you can save yourself time and money uh, and getting your customer's car back on the road faster than usual. Nice. Now, what's the name of these two tools? So this is the PowerProbe Fuse Monitor, and then this is the PowerProbe Draw Monitor. Uh, okay, and uh, prices? Uh, prices, uh, PowerProbe Draw Monitor goes for about 220 US dollars, and the Fuse Monitor for about uh, 130, I believe. 130, and 140. Awesome. And they're both out now? Yes, both okay. out now. Okay.